Hello everyone, and today I just want to show you these MRI capacitors because it seems like I can never make a good video of them. Now, High One Voltage One Rules has been giving me a shout on his channel, and I got a lot of subscribers. And I've been looking at you, you new subscribers, and I've been looking at your channels, and and I can see that you guys like sparks and high voltage and arcs and things like that. So just to say thank you and just to show you I'm going to be doing some explosions with these capacitors today but first I want to show you a little bit about how they're hooked up and how they work okay so these capacitors are uh, they're DC electrolytic capacitors they are 6000 microfarads they are 350 volts and there's ton of them there in series parallel connection and it's what one of them looks like. I actually have quite a few of them just free on their own, but I saw this assembled in a nice bank and had to have it. And they're actually charged from 240 volts AC with a half bridge diode rectifier, which is here. And normally I wouldn't have this resistor here, but since I'm going to do a demonstration, I want the capacitors to continuously charge so when I discharge them they'll just recharge back up through the resistor so normally we'd have 240 volts between here and here and this uh, neutral would be connected to the middle point on all those capacitors and then the live end would be connected to the center there on the diode rectifier half bridge. So positive here would go through that resistor on the right and then bypass that circuit breaker and then go to the positive on that capacitor bank there. The negative would do the same. It would another resistor down. You probably can't see it, but there's another resistor down there which bypasses the circuit breaker and goes to the negative. So when they're all charged up, I would then turn that breaker on and we get full power because normally I don't always use it for demonstrations like this sometimes I use it for turning on high voltage uh, variable frequency drives but today I'm going to show it to you guys I'm going to show you a couple discharges and a couple of uh, high voltage victims we'll say that so stand by okay guys just a word of caution if you do manage to get your hands on capacitors this big do be careful. Capacitors resist changes in voltage by producing currents and they have very low internal resistances so the current comes out virtually without limits. Thousands of amps can happen very easily. It's explosive. Now I'll be wearing hearing and eye protection because I value my hearing and my sight. And it probably won't be as dramatic on camera, but in real life you can actually feel the shockwave come off of the explosion. In the left there you'll see the voltmeter and that will be measuring the actual voltage. If I let it go it would go up to 680 volts, but I may only let it go up to 600. So, stand by. Okay, and I have a computer motherboard here that doesn't work anymore. Something went out on it, and that will be our little victim for today. And ironically, it's usually the capacitors that actually make the biggest explosion, so stand by.
these capacitors here were actually dislodged during the explosion. You can see the uh, top split open there and you can see how the capacitors actually rolled the two conducting foils and the insulating layer between them. And they all ruptured at their uh, rupture point. All the uh, capacitors that don't have vents, they're all weakened at the top so they can rupture. And I actually took out the lithium battery too. It flew off. And there are a few more capacitors on the board there that split but didn't fly off. But the chipsets that, <laughs> yeah, the die on that chipset actually flew off. It's usually, usually what I find that they do. But, yeah, like I said, every explosion of those capacitors in real life, you could feel every one of them. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and maybe you learned something from it. <laughs> don't, uh, don't get in the way of a charged capacitor, and make sure it's discharged before you walk away from it with a resistor or something. So, see you guys soon.